severe drought in the 1890s, back before Arizona was even a state, spurred leadership to streamline the dam and canal systems that help manage our water now. Once again, we're in a drought and at a crossroads where progressive ideas can help the future of water conservation because every drop counts. So I think it's about planning how we want to grow as a state and how do we want to use our water resources as efficiently as possible. Everybody needs to be there looking for a solution and I think it's important that we all come to the table with the solution as the goal. Nobody wins if, uh, if a community goes dry. Nobody wins if we lose our agriculture. So I think Arizona is in a good place as long as we continue to act. And really, it's not just about someone else doing something. We sometimes think that one person can't make a difference, but three or four million people acting together can make a huge difference. Together, we are making a difference. Today, each person uses less water per day than they did 30 years ago. And it's not limited to choices we make at home. Getting involved, it's not somebody else's responsibility uh, to figure this out. It's all of our responsibility. And to the degree that our leaders understand that these issues are important to us, it's going to become important to them. And we also um, you know, have an opportunity to invest in organizations like the Nature Conservancy in our work to try to maintain a healthy environment and a healthy community. Support doesn't need to involve paid memberships. Following conservation groups on social media and sharing tips lets your friends know that conservation is important to you. And it might be important to them too. If you shop online, you can select the Nature Conservancy as the charity Amazon donates to as part of their Smiles program. For a long time, people thought of protecting nature as something you did from people. You protected nature from people. We see it differently. We see that we're protecting nature for people, that we're all interconnected. We're dependent on nature. And nature anymore is uh, now dependent on, on people in so many different ways. Everything in nature is connected. The water, essential for all living things. The soil from which life springs out. The trees and wildlife that populate our forests. Even the bustling human populations in the rural and metro areas. Alter one of those elements and there's a ripple effect with the others. But the change can be positive.